Welcome to another exciting Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create a Dart API service with proper exception handling for your Flutter application. In previous tutorial, we have created our data directory. Uh, so let's start writing code in data directory so first we have organized our code into three main sections and created uh, sub directories in our uh, data directory which were network and response so in the data directory we will be creating a dart file uh, which will be have ex exceptions uh, in this file we will be handling uh, how are all the exceptions which will occur in our application so by right clicking on the data data directory and by clicking the new file and I will be just naming it if exception exceptions dot dart and I will just create a class uh, class if exception and this class will extend the exception class uh, so let's just do that we we need to extend this uh, our app exception class with the dart exception class we are extends uh, means we are just inheriting or taking the using the functionality of our exception uh, class uh, sorry implement so we will be uh, using implements and the class exception here we will be using our dart exception class in our app exception so here we will uh, create cons uh, custom exception classes that we will use for our error handling so uh, when we need to show an error so there there should be a message uh, so we will be creating a message here which will be final and message and i will be uh, creating the constructor of our this class so i will just uh, copy and paste this hand now now this constructor needs the final field so which we have created here so let's just include it so here we will be using this dot message and our header will be gone so now now we also need uh, to return um, this message when we get the message or the error message from somewhere oh so we need we also need to return this message so for that reason i will be uh, overriding the uh, two string class of our exception class so for that reason i will just override it here what overrides means so if there is a class with the same name already and uh, it is defined somewhere so it is already defined in our exception class here so uh, I will override this to a string which means I will uh, customize the functionality of this function or this method so uh, let's just do that so here I will be writing a string to string and a function and I will 
simply return the message this message uh, for returning a uh, string so we need to just use our uh, dollar sign so yeah we need to head them in a quotation so let's just override it uh, by using the at the rate override so here we have just overrided the two string method of power class exception here is so now now we are just ready uh, uh, to create our custom exceptions uh, from this app exception and return the uh, error or exceptions so I will be just uh, coming outside of this class and I will create uh, my custom exception class which will be whenever uh, so there will be some scenarios while we we are getting uh, data from the server there could be some uh, communication errors the network problem error bad request errors and many more so here we will be just defining some of them uh, let's just create them so the first class will be uh, pitch uh, data exception exception so uh, this class will extend our this class and uh, at the air the extends uh, mean we are inheriting something from this class so let's just extend our this class with the, uh, our hip exception class and we will be using our uh, super function for here uh, I will just create the constructor of this class uh, is string and is string and the message and now use the super function of uh, this class super message and we will return the message what message or what uh, error we want to return so we will just uh, write the error message here so error uh, during the communication and just uh, I will be adding a semicolon here so here we have uh, just created a custom exception for uh, fetching data when we will face some issue or some error while fetching the data so we will just be using our uh, custom exception class and return this class simply so now let's just create some more exception classes uh, which can be uh, bad request exceptions so let's just rename it bad request exception and just copy this here and just paste it and just here also change the message which we uh, wanted to return uh, so here I will be just sending the error message which will be invalid request uh, here you go we have just created another uh, exception class for our bad requests and so let's just create uh, another class uh, for unauthorized exceptions um, authorized exception and I will be just copying this and pasting this 
and I will just rename my header um, by uh, returning unauthorized request. So the unauthorized request is used where user try to access some data but they are not authorized to access them or they do not have uh, some privileged uh, to access there. So for that exception, we will uh, be returning uh, unauthorized exception. So, uh, we have just created uh, our custom exceptions and we will be returning or using these custom exceptions for in our whole entire application. Uh, so, let's create uh, another exception which will be uh, the invalid input invalid input exception so we will be just copying this here and pasting this here and i will be returning the error message invalid input so uh, from here we are done uh, writing codes for our custom um, exception now 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 as we are done with writing code for custom exception handling so let's start coding and handle uh, network related data so in the network directory uh, we will be creating two dart files uh, which will be our one will be our base api service and the second will be our network api services uh, these both uh, files will define the base API services. So let's begin uh, with creating our base API services dot dart in our network directory. So uh, here in this class in this file we will define uh, an abstract class which will be our, our abstract uh, class in the base api api services so uh, now here comes the concept of abstract class so what is abstract class if you have come from programming background like C++, C++ or Java you may be familiar with abstract class but if you don't know what the abstract class is then here I cannot define the abstract class in details but in simple terms an abstract class is like a set of rules that help you create specific things by providing a basic structure or a template. It is not the actual thing uh, you play with. It is the guide that helps you to make things uh, and you play with. If the abstract class concept is still not clear, please go and do some research for that. So, uh, I have just uh, tried to define what abstract class is. So, abstract class are simply nothing but uh, the classes which are some, which are some templates or rules or guidelines uh, to how to to how to uh, do with something how to create something uh, just like that uh, so uh, in our base class uh, we will be creating two abstract classes oh, sorry two abstract methods uh, uh, to uh, represent get and post requests to our API services 
so let's just create for uh, a dynamic uh, the, sorry a future uh, method of dynamic type and which will be uh, get get api response and in the parameter we will just add the url so uh, whatever url we will be getting from from our application or from our api we will just call this function and it will do rest of work so this is uh, for my uh, get api response and now i will be creating another for our post api post api response so as we know that by we in the post method uh, we need to send some data to the server so here we are using the url but we also need to get some data and to send it to our server so here i will just be creating another or heading uh, another parameter which will be our data so whatever data we will get it here and we will send it to our server so here here we are uh done with our base api service uh, class and we will be using our this abstract class and these abstract functions or methods in our uh, network api services so for that we will just go ahead and create our uh, network api services dot dart so now has we created our base api services class so let's create our network api services class and use the abstract class method here so uh, i will just create the class network api services and i will be extending uh, our network api services uh, class with our base api services class which uh, uh, we will use the abstract methods in uh, this class so let's just uh, extend this so now it is uh, giving us some errors because we need to uh, use the methods which we have just created uh, in our base classes. Uh, so I will be going here in the quick picks and create two missing overrides. So uh, here as we have overrided the two string uh, method in our previous uh, uh, session here app, uh, in the app exception um, class so as we have now we need to also we have just created our abstract class and we also uh, need to override these classes in our network classes so Uh, this file will contain the implementation of our API services. So to use the HTTP methods, we need to import uh, necessary packages like HTTP for making HTTP request. So here in get API response, we will get uh, and use the get method of HTTP method to get um, data to get data from our server so for using our uh, get method get method we are required to install the http method um, http method uh, in our pub.yaml file so 
how can we uh, install this package just go to uh, pub.dev and write http and here you will get the http package just click on it and go to the installing tab and just copy this line which is dependencies and just copy this and go to your pubspec.uml file and just paste it under the cappuccino icons and just save it and have here in the terminal or in the output uh, the exit code zero comes which means your package is successfully installed and you are now uh, ready to use that so i will be implementing our get api response first and then i will go for my post api response so uh, so so here here in the uh, as we know this is a future function so we will be using our async uh, async method which is our future function which uh, work as the middleware and just sync the future functions and uh, with and make the await function async with the future function so here in the future function we need to use two keywords async and await so await is used to make uh, uh, wait uh, while patching some data or while patching while getting some data from our servers or sending to the server we will uh, make the uh, code to wait for some seconds so that is the reason we will use the async keyword so and the howit keyword so here i will use my try uh, hand the uh, catch method so by uh, using the catch i will use the own socket exception socket exception which is uh used for no internet services so here we will use our uh custom exceptions which we have created uh, before so we will throw an exception when there is some socket exception or some error if we uh, face here some error here um if we will uh, get some type of error so we will uh, throw it here so we have just created our custom exceptions so let's just throw them uh, so here i will be just uh, uh, throwing the pitch data exceptions so the socket exception is actually used uh, for the no internet uh, error so here while getting some data or getting uh, data from the server we can face uh, internet related issue so that is the reason we are using socket exception here so we need to return some messages or some type of error here as we uh, discussed before so we need to also send uh, an error so here I will just type the error uh, error during the communication so uh, here uh, here I have just um, thrown our custom exceptions uh, while we get some kind of error uh, in this section now let's just implement the a try part so in the try parts we will be final response and in the response is equal to we will be just creating a response variable and store uh, our away and our um, whatever response we will get from the url whatever url we will enter in uh, whatever api or the endpoint we will enter in whatever whatever data we will get we will store 
all the data in our response uh, variable so here I will be using Havet HTTP so first of all we need to import our HTTP package so here what will be HTTP here HTTP dot dot is HTTP so uh, now I will use my this HTTP method by using this HTTP and I will be using dot and use the get method and I will here you need an uh, uh, URL so we need to parse it URI dot parse when we need to pass the URI and here we need a uh, URL so I will be just copying and pasting this URL uh, whatever URL we will get from our application I will be passing it and I will be getting the data and storing to my uh, this variable in response variable so here I will be just using the timeout uh, function of the get method in some after way after the sometimes just show us a timed out message so here we will be using the duration and seconds wait for 10 seconds and just give a, a timed out message so here here uh, I have just created uh, and uh, parsed the URL, parsed the URL, and just stored all the data uh, getting from the URL and stored in my this response uh, variable. So now, now we need to also return this. So uh, we need to encode it decode it and do some more actions so I will be just creating uh, a method so we that would be uh, so that can be used for our both uh, methods get and post method so for that reason uh, the code will not be uh, duplicated so by maintaining the uh, dry rule of programming so that is the reason I will be creating a separate function uh, to return or to check if the status code is 200 return something this if the status code is not, not 200 uh, throw some error messages uh, so for that reason I will be creating a separate function and use that function in both um uh, both methods in both methods uh, get api response and the get post response so let's just create um uh, our function um so i will be creating a dynamic function so dynamic return response and I will get the HTTP dot response and create a response variable um, and here I will be using our switch uh, so in the switch I will be just checking the uh, status code so in our HTTP method uh, response response type we can get the status code and if the status code is 200 so if the case we can also use the f and else uh, uh, cases but here i am using switch so if the case is 200 then then do something so here i will be using uh, variable I will create a dynamic variable response response JSON and just decode the 
response body and store all the uh, body data in my response json so here i will be using json decode and i will be using the response body dot body and i will be returning this return this yeah uh, so uh, what i am doing in this function so i have just created a variable of type response which is coming from our http package so here i am uh, switching the status code and checking the status code if our status code will be 200 then just decode the response body uh, and store store it in our dynamic variable named json or uh, response json and just return that so if case is something else like uh, 500 which will be our mm, the there are so many so many status code in http um, mostly there are 500 something status code so what whatever status code you wanna head and throw uh, error message accordingly so you can you can just do that here so I will be using some of them like 5.3 which is used for unauthorized or the user do not have any privilege to access some data some data so we use a status code 5.3 so here I have already created some exceptions uh, for my unauthorized um, access so here I will be just throwing that uh, exception unauthorized unauthorized exception and i will just return the mm, message so you do not have authorization decision to access access this file here so I am just using two cases you can use multiple cases um, as per your requirements so if these both cases uh, if the response status code is not 200 or not 500 then uh, what it should do so here is the uh, default if both of them are not true then just come in my default uh, section and throw a error message of fetching data exception so error while communicating uh, with the server with a status code status code and I will be just uh, returning the status code here also so response dot status code here so here I am done uh, with implementing my return response so I will be just using um, and uh, returning my this response to um, this class so here I will be just creating a dynamic and return re response yes and I will be just storing all the uh, uh, response JSON is equal to uh, return and I will just send the response here so here whatever response we will be sending here so here I am sending this response where we are uh, getting um, uh, 
getting the URL or uh, checking for the URL and storing into this is response and I am sending this response into my uh, this function so here whatever is stored in this response it will be added here also and I am also checking the switch cases and the status code here so this for this uh, we are just passing our this response and so now 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 as we have just implemented our get api response so now we can be just uh, implementing our post api response same as it is as we have just um, implemented our get api so i will be just copying and pasting the code of here and i will just use the async keyword uh, and and i will be just removing this get um, get method and i will be using the post method and uri dot parse and whatever url i will be getting so i will just Parse it URL sorry URL and I will be just using the timeout function duration seconds 10 and use the cons keyword to remove the warning so as we know in the post we need to send some data data with the post to the server so i will be just sending this data whatever data we will get we will send it to our server so now 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 the i will be just overviewing this code what uh, is happening here so the network api service class uh, extends the base class uh, and inside the get api response uh, we are making a get request to uh, provided url and handle exceptions uh, like uh, error during this uh, communication so in get uh, in get post api response we make a post request with provided data and also handling the exception similarly and here here in the return response uh, method uh, we are checking uh, the http response status code and throws the appropriate exceptions or returns the response json so here it is and we are also throwing some kind of errors so so now uh, so far we we are done with implementing implementing logic so power api services now let's implement the uh, response part so i will be just closing these and uh, uh, lastly in the response directory in the response directory we will be having uh, a status and the api response files for defining api response uh, statuses and generic response matter uh, model so let's create a dart file with the name uh, a status status dot dart so status dot dart uh, which represent the various states of api response uh, which can be loading completed um, or error so higher i will be just creating a enum status and that will be loading completed uh, or the header 
so hen what is an enum actually so let's just give an overview what is an enum an enum in dart is a way to define um a fixed set of related constant value making your uh, which will make um, our code organized and much readable when dealing with these kinds of choices uh, or predefined list of possibilities so we are done with the status and we will be using this status in our uh, response file so uh, now lastly let's write code for handling response uh, which will be api responses responses dot dart here in this class we define a generic class called api response that can hold the status data and message of an api response it provides constructor for creating response objects for different states as we have just created here uh, in our status class which is uh, henum so let's just create the class uh, this class will be a generic class so class api response api response and here we will give it some data um, of type t and we will be um, sending some status a uh, message and uh, and some data so we will be just creating here uh, status I will just import this this status class in my API response class and make a variable named status oh sorry here the status can be null so in I'm using the question mark which means that this status can be null so the t data any type of data it can be a string which will be our message so mm, i will be defining what is this t and what is this generic class so let's first uh, just implement our class uh, so for that i will be just creating my constructor of this class uh, and which i will just make the final add the final this dot data and this dot message and just a semicolon and now I will just create some instances of this class to check the status of my this class so API response mm, dot loading and we will be using our super function here and just to store what status our class status dot so here let me let me let me check what I am doing wrong here API response dot loading API response dot loading yeah the function and the super method here and using this status here and I will just make the status dot loading yeah uh, I will 
we just I here I have just created a instance of my this generic class if this class is uh, loading in the loading state so the status uh, this status will store the status loading so we have just created uh, three statuses so let's just implement the three of them here dot completed and the status with store is equal to a status dot completed and API response dot error the status will store the status uh, error so we also also need uh, to return this status uh, this data and this message so let's just um, again override our uh, two string method which will be a string and two string method and I will be just returning um, them here which will be our so here the class is status and which will give a new line the message and new line again and the data so here I will be just returning uh, my uh, status data and messages in my api response class which is our uh, generic class so now comes what is generic class and why we are using this t here by defining api response uh, or by making this api response a generic class you are making the api response class generic when I have added this class, so it means that I am creating this class uh, generic. So the T represents a type of parameter that can be uh, that can be any type of data type. So um, if we are getting some data from whatever response or whatever URL. So in this class here, T defines the data can be of any type, uh, like int, string, list, custom classes, and etc. Uh, this allows you to create instances. So as we have created here uh, the instances of class by using this class as a generic class, uh, so it allows us to use and make instances of this class like uh, api response dot loading api response dot completed api response dot error and just check the status and restore it to our status these are our instances so that is the reason we have used uh, a generic class and the type uh, any type of data um, the t can be any any type of data uh, like hand string and custom classes whatever so that is it for the code overview uh, we have covered the fundamentals of building api services with a robust error handling in our uh, flutter application so in our next tutorial we will dive deeper and show you how to utilize these classes to make api request efficiently and handle the responses if you found this video helpful and want to stay updated with more more flutter tutorials and tips make sure to like this video share it with your family friends and fellow developers uh, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update additionally you can connect with me on various social media platforms uh, you will get the links in the description box 
And uh, for more hand-depth discussions about Flutter and coding, you are invited to join our WhatsApp group. Find the group invite link in the video description box below. Thank you. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy coding.